Let's talk a little bit today about the flight readiness review for the system that we have uh, here. And basically there are five subsystems that uh, we need to check in order to have uh, a successful flight readiness review. So these five major sub subsystems are the airframe for the vehicle, the propulsion for the vehicle, the avionics for the vehicle, the heating system, and the ground support uh, equipment. Uh, now, the airframe for the vehicle is made of the propellant uh, tank and uh, the thrust frame, the metallic frame that is uh, placed between the tank and the engine. Now, for the tank, we need to check if uh, the leak test for the tank was performed and uh, the pressure test for the tank was performed. Also, we need to check the connections between the tank and the engine. And we have a big flange at the bottom of the tank with uh, 32 bolts and these uh, bolts need to be check checked that are properly tightened. Uh, regarding the frame, the thrust frame between the tank and the engine, uh, we need to be sure that this is uh, properly dimensioned and all the bolts are also uh, properly tightened. Now, regarding the propulsion of the vehicle, here it's a little bit more uh, complex because we need to go through extensive verification regarding the thrust vectoring control for the engine. And here we have the valves um, for the thrust vectoring control. We have the electric actuators. We have also the roll thrusters for the vehicle that are controlling the roll, um, the movement of the vehicle around its longitudinal axis. And also we have um, the thrust uh, modulation, which means that we need to also perform uh, checks on the um, uh, main valves, the engine's main valves that are regulating the um, propellant flow in the engine. Uh, all these elements need to be properly uh, checked for, um, elect for the electric connections and also for the um, main valves where we have a pneumatic uh, system. We need to be sure that this system is properly filled with uh, nitrogen. We have two uh, small high pressure 200 bars uh, bottles, four liters bottles, and then we have another bigger bottle of 40 liters that is working at uh, 10 bars. And we need to perform the pressure test for this and also the leak test for, uh, for this. Now there is another valve, it's a vent valve that is placed on top of the tank and this, is, uh, uh, this allows us to maintain the desired pressure in the tank during the heating process and during the flight itself.